You got this. <laughs> All right, welcome everyone. This is our end game support group for COVID-19 and this is our fourth one. So we've been doing this officially, I guess for a month now. Um, and yeah, Eve and I are kind of hosting these just to kind of check in with people. And um, I think after this one, we're gonna resume potentially our normal end game programming where we have like a guest and talk about different topics and stuff. But we wanted to kind of have these just to kind of check in with people and we'll, we can continue these as well if people want um in addition you know just like kind of checking in and seeing how everybody's doing um with you know everything that's happening because this is like none of us have ever lived through a pandemic before so i think this is new to all of us and just hearing about people's experiences and checking in each week has been kind of a good thing to do and um yeah so hey lala welcome uh feel free to join the circle we're just uh starting a discussion about COVID-19 and people's experiences and everything like that. Um, but yeah, so I think uh, normally we just kind of go around and check in about how everyone's doing. Uh, Eve, do you want to, what should people say when they check in? Well, you can pretty much say what's on your mind. May maybe you ought to say at this point what you feel your biggest challenge is after having been in this situation for three or four weeks, what's your big challenge? What what you feel is the toughest thing for you right now? So maybe we can and start. Then, yeah, and then also like Go what's ahead. been most helpful again? I like when we yeah, do that too. Yeah, that's what we did, did. That we did that last time. Went around and asked people what the hardest thing and what the most helpful thing was. So maybe we'll start with psycho and and, and move around the room. All right. Awesome. Hello. I'm hey. Psycho. <laughs> um yeah. Uh hi. Yeah, um coronavirus. It's it's been pretty interesting. Um I've been inside for like yeah, like about a month or or more. Uh it's it's been it's been interesting. Like uh I I just I, I wasn't here for like the the previous uh meetings, but uh um, I just want to say, like, I, I I talked about my friend at the other uh, end game, and I just want to say they're you know they're fine. They've they've recovered. Actually, they uh, oh, recovered good. like uh, two weeks ago. So, uh, just oh, wanna, Psycho like, is is this the one where you hadn't heard from them in a while and you were worried? Um, no, so, I I did hear from them, oh, but um, okay, I, I was actually in contact, but like, um, yeah, they're they they've recovered. Uh, though you know, um. Uh, COVID-19 is still, it, it still had like a, it was still pretty difficult for them to get through it, but, you know, mm -hmm. they, you know, they're on the other side of it now, so, uh, yeah. Uh, so there's that, and, uh, yeah, um, just, I, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm sure, like, you know, we're, we're, we're all going through the same thing right now in terms of, uh. You know, we're all we're all you know self isolating and and whatnot. Um, it's uh, sorry about that. We changed the security off now. Hmm. Our security was as on, I, so people are getting kicked out of the circle. Oh, okay. All right, go ahead. As as I uh, can imagine, like everybody's been sort of um, uh, been just everybody's not super used to just being inside for this long. Like for me personally, like I I like to stay inside, but. Um, I'm I'm not inside for for yeah. this long, so like it's it's a little weird, but um, you know it's nothing too crazy. I I just hope that like um, uh, you know I mean people want this to be over, uh, but like I hope we we don't you know sort of jump the gun and like uh, uh go outside too soon, you know, uh, before yeah. like um. You know, before we need to, because you know, it's even though we we'd want to go outside, you know, it it's still out there. So, um, yeah, that's that's a concern that I have. But yeah, and, that's and pretty what much. Do, what have you found most helpful? Uh, hmm. What's most helpful? 
I'm 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 not too. Uh, I don't, I don't think it's gonna be like a normal thing for for most people, but like, um, me personally, like I I have access to a VR headset, so uh, I've just been playing a bunch of VR games. Um, been mm -hmm. playing uh, Half Life Alex, which is amazing and it's beautiful and it's yeah, it's just really great. And then uh, I've also been playing a lot of Skyrim VR, which has been really interesting. Just being able to sort of escape into a different, um, different world, different like, yeah, just yeah, it's 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 a good game. I, I'd recommend it. So yeah, awesome. Thank you. How yeah. about uh, Cozy? Am I saying that right? Yeah. Um... So What's been the most challenging and, and maybe the most helpful? Uh, the most challenging has been, um, also before we start, we, um, we use the royal we when referencing, referencing ourselves. So apologies if that gets, um, gets confusing. Um, if it does, just please okay. point it out and we'll... Um, That's okay. Yeah. Um, the most difficult thing has definitely been... Um, we actually have been in the process of um, okay. of moving for the past uh, four or so months, and um, probably the most challenging thing has been with the entire pandemic happening. Uh, multiple setbacks have happened exclusively just because of the pandemic. Um, mm -hmm. uh, quite literally, just today, we actually had um, our flight canceled on us just completely. And um, now we're trying to figure out how to get that whole situation figured out. Um, in general, we're also, we, we're definitely a bit um, isolated even outside of the pandemic, but even with um, that all in mind, it's been rather interesting not being able to go outside and not being able to uh, deal with all of that. Um, it's, you know, it's one of those situations where it's a bit, it's sort of a situation where you lose something that you don't really realize you um you have in the first place. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Welcome, Spicy so, and Pika. We're just going around and uh, yeah. checking in about what's been the hardest, and then also what's been the most helpful. So, um. So yeah. Yeah. So Poopsie, am I saying or cozy? That right? What uh, first so, cozy? What what has been the most helpful oh, for you? Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, something that's been the most helpful for us is we actually are, um, we sort of fancy ourselves a bit of a, uh, inventor of sorts. Not exactly. It's, um, we're definitely amateur when it comes to all of that, but, um, we actually plan on going to college very shortly for, um, biotechnical, um, processes and most specifically into that of, um, prosthetics. So something we generally do to, um, to sort of get our mind off the whole pandemic as well as uh, just, you know, take boredom and actually use it for something productive is to tinker on uh, various kits and the like for prosthetic arms and legs. It's, um, mm. it's definitely a little sort of out there, but it's something that um, we personally enjoy. And it's just sort of basically just taking procrastination and turning it into something productive for us, at least has been really helpful for the entire situation. Yeah, cool, that yeah. sounds like a really, really good idea. Go through. Uh, no, but we are definitely looking into trying to get one at some point soon. It's just finances. Cool. All right, uh, Pika. Yo, what's the most what challenging and the most helpful? Well, in interesting. Um, I'm an animator and I do a lot of work from home, so like, uh, I'm used to like spending long times at my place. But now that I'm forced to, it's like I can't get anything done. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, I think one of the biggest caveats is that I would always go to the gym and just like beat my body up until like I'm exhausted. And uh, using all the weights and machines, I would get that to like as a more of a meditative exercise. And now that with the gym's closed, I'm, I'm not access to that. So I'm just using my free weights that I have in my apartment. But I'm not getting like the full exhaustion body workout. So it's been really difficult to get my head in the the, the zone when i'm creating stuff yeah, I, can I much... just... yeah go ahead yeah. i'm sorry no i, I was just gonna pretty... <laughs> go ahead i'm sorry yeah. 
Well, what I was going to say is that it's interesting that you are an animator because I'm just looking at your avatar and it's so amazing. It's so kind of fluid and expressive. Oh. And uh, yeah, the expressions <laughs> and your whole body, everything that you're, so it's kind of, I thought I'd just throw that in there, but go ahead. Yeah, I, I made this myself. It's actually gotten quite popular here on VRChat. Um, oh, okay. But uh, um, yeah, so um, it's just interesting because I was like, yo, I'm fine with living uh, you know, at home and spending a whole bunch of days. I'm going to get so much shit done. And then it's just like, oh. Yeah. I was breaking <laughs> your routine. A yeah, it is. You know? Yeah, that's really hard. Mm -hmm. I, I've what, heard what, a lot of people say that it's very hard for them to get down to work and, and concentrate on whatever they're doing. And it's sort of interesting. You'd think it would be the opposite, but I think it mm. does something to us. It makes it really hard to get down to things we need to do. Well, also, I mean, I know I've brought this up in our past episodes, but like, again, the evolutionary, like we're, we've evolved over thousands of years. And so right now we're forced to stay in one place and our bodies and brains are basically a natural reaction to that is to basically be like shutting down, inhibiting our motivation, mm. like wanting to rest more, um, feeling less emotion, eating sometimes that de decreased appetite. All the symptoms of depression really um, are also uh, symptoms of conserving our resources when we're forced to stay in one place. And so That's the less active we are. Yeah, the less active we are, I think the worse mm. that gets. Um, and so that's why it's important to like try to do free weights or, you know, VR active games and all that kind of stuff because, yeah, it's really hard. It's not just like, oh, I'm relaxing. I'm nothing stressful, so I'm going to be more productive. But it's more like, oh, my body's kind of shutting down right now. So that's um, very I actually want to add on to that. Yeah. Um, my therapist actually explained to me one time that like when you're walking, it actually stimulates both sides of your brain hemispheres. And it's called mm -hmm. bilateral stimulation. It's why some people, when they're like on the phone with people, they like walk around the house because it like stimulates their brain and um, pacing, helps them kind yeah. of focus better. So like mm. the fact that we like can't really work out that much anymore because of like the quarantines and stuff like that, I think it's starting to really fuck people. Uh, I'm sorry, mess with people's uh, heads. Yeah, yeah, totally. Wow. It's, uh, so Pika, is there anything that you're doing that's helpful? That's particularly helpful. Um, I live right next to a shopping center. Uh, they don't have any masks there. So as a joke, sometimes I put on my fursuit head and I walk around the parking lot. <laughs> oh my go, like double take and we're like, what's going on? <laughs> I think I'm so making weird. a sign that says, uh, um, cause it's a dog, obviously, uh, uh, uh costume, mm. just a sign that says COVID-19 doesn't affect dogs and just walk around the parking lot. <laughs> obviously not oh touching my, oh anything. My That's amazing. That's yeah, really 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 really... In a mask, yeah, they can't do that. Yeah, if I you mean, wear that's a mask one way to keep people out of distance, outfits. but <laughs> yeah, I don't have one big enough. Yeah. What? I just toss it in the the. I know how to wash the suit. It's fine. Is it hard to wash the suit? <laughs> yeah, that's just awesome. just the the head tumbling in the washer, like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you gotta get a. Oh, you put it on delicate, and you put it in one of those delicate bags. And they oh, I see. Okay. In. Yeah. Yeah. And then you just uh, air good. dry it. Hmm. Well, cool. Hmm. So, kind of playing pranks a little bit, or kind of. Well, the I don't have. Uh, I don't. In my apartment, I don't have any means of entertainment. Like my entertainment was like work, and so now that I can't like really work, I don't really have like a video game system or anything to do other than work. And VR. Uh, and VR. Oh, yeah, 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 I've been spending about... a lot of time in VR. Um, I've been uh one day I got up at ten and then I got into VR after I, no, I got up at nine, watched my dog, got into VR at ten o'clock, and then was there till like five o'clock uh PM and then got ran my dog and then ate dinner, got back at seven, and then was there till like two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. And... Yeah. <laughs> Did that help you to be in VR chat? I don't know. I actually don't know. <laughs> I'm supposed hmm. to be working. <laughs> well, well, so that's great. Yeah. Well, thanks for sharing all of that. And yeah. uh, Poopsie, how about how about you? So, um, can you all hear me? Okay. Not sure yeah, if my audio is okay. fine. Yeah. So uh, I I moved 
where I am now, uh, late last year after uh, getting laid off um, and being out of a job for a little while. And uh, so I've, I've been in a place where I don't know anybody for a couple of months before this. And so there wasn't really a, a big lifestyle change for me. I mean, I was pretty much isolated anyways, having just moved. Um, so that, I, I suppose that was a little bit helpful in kind of, uh, preparing me because it's not a real big shock to, uh, change things. But I guess the most challenging thing for me is just kind of, um, uh, feeling hopeless about the state of the world. Mm -hmm. Um, I've been okay personally, but, uh, I kind of feel like a little bit hopeless as far as, uh, this whole crisis just making everything that was bad before worse yeah is kind of what yeah. i'm seeing mm -hmm. and uh i guess another thing that's helpful for me is having a, a plan for things um which i i don't have good plans yet but it's kind of forcing me to think about the course of my life and what i want to do with it and mm -hmm. uh, yeah so i hope that all makes sense yeah, more yeah. existential stuff. Also, welcome Midnight Fox. We're just going around talking about COVID nineteen and how it's affecting us. So, welcome. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, um, Poopsie. Yeah, that sounds hard. I mean, that's like the I think the existential kind of stuff about feeling like the world is, you know, being affected and all this stuff. That's definitely very real. Um, I felt that way about climate change already, and then this on yep. top of it is like kind of combining to be kind of intense. So um yeah but you I, know I just, yeah well one Sorry. of the things that you know humans have been through many things you know i mean we're like definitely a very resilient species and we've evolved and survived probably lots and lots and lots of different types of things like this so um you know that's one thing to remember that even though in our our lifetimes are, are a tiny blip in the history of the human race and so um to us it seems like a big thing but to the race and the history of a you know of us probably it's not that big of a thing um but yeah what were you gonna say Eve? oh i was just gonna uh, piggyback on what you said um Lucy, because i feel very much the same way like i feel personally i'm fine um i'm gonna be okay and you know it's not a disruption in quite the same way to me as it is to a lot of people but when I start to think about the world and think about other people and other places and the economy and what's going that that probably causes me the most anxiety. Um, so my personal world, I'm able to navigate that okay. But the bigger world, when I start letting my mind drift, that's that's a source of anxiety. Yep, I definitely, what's helping you? I definitely understand that. What's helping me? Uh, um, yeah, I I guess, uh, you know, like I say, kind of forcing forcing me to reevaluate what I'm doing, mm -hmm. and uh, analyze that and come up with a, a different plan or or, I guess, uh, what I want to do with my own life, and then um, how I might be able to affect the world and and make it a little bit better which is difficult for one person obviously but i think that's awesome though to me that's you know what you're th being that reflective and thinking about your life and having a chance to do it and then being able to make it wanting to make a difference i think that's really a positive thing but at the same time you know it's it's uh kind of the understanding that I might not be able to make a difference, kind of the hopelessness <clears throat> comes back. So it's kind of back and forth as far as that goes. Yeah. From impending I mean, doom to having some, some kind of hope about the future. Sorry, God. I mean, like, uh, you know, even, you know, even a little bit of a change can be good. I mean, if you're, if you're helping somebody out or if, you know, just connecting with people, you know, that, you know, you have have an effect on, on somebody else's life so like you know just even like a little bit um you know helps to contribute to that so like you know just like i don't know um just keep at it you know in terms of uh just uh you know thinking about others and um trying to sort of help them through different situations and just being there you know um it's 
definitely effective. So, yeah. And like, even if you can't make a grander difference, like on the world, you can still make a difference with like the people that you have around you, like your friends and stuff. Sometimes you don't really so realize true. the impact that you have on others until you like really do something. And you're just like, what? And then it really speaks volumes to them, whether that's a good thing or a bad. Sometimes we don't really realize that. Yeah. So true. Mm-hmm. And if everybody did that, they would, you know, you are contributing to making an impact on the world too. Yeah. It, it, it adds up. Yeah. Great. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing. Stokel? Stokel. Okay, can you guys hear me? Uh, a it's a little low. We can. Soft. Okay, let me try and speak a bit loud. Anyway, okay. Um, one thing is, uh, I just recently moved. So, literally just as I got to my new location, all the COVID-19 stuff started. So that's been pretty stressful. But uh, I'm thankful that in the new location, I got the same job I had in Hawaii, which is helping special needs. And uh, the COVID-19 and the quarantine has put a lot of pressure on people who have special needs. Because a lot of times you can't explain why you have to stay home or have them understand why you're doing yes. certain things. Mm. And it's, it's, it's pretty difficult some days to try and fill up the day. To make it entertaining for them so that they don't get bored and they get they don't get stressed and stuff like that Stogel, are you with them physically or are you doing this virtually physically i'm with them physically uh-huh yeah that is so that, that, that's one thing that is uh yeah nope. oh no uh welcome tally we're just talking mm-hmm. about COVID 19 and how it's affected us and what's most helpful and stuff like that. Um, yeah, Stokel, mm-hmm. what's been most helpful for you? Uh, TV and Netflix. <laughs> yeah. Netflix, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah just Netflix. getting getting TV shows for it, for him to watch and just different like games and things or and just fill up time in general. One, you I know, have ooh, something to say. Oh, go ahead, because um, I forgot on my piece. One, one thing that um, is really done um, it actually, um, this pandemic's really appreciated my job um, a lot more because uh, um, I work for uh, Verizon, the network. So we, um, at the beginning of the lockdown, we had this like huge um, uh, company-wide, you know, call, and the CEO was there, and it's like we have a job to do. We are going to keep the world going because we are the network. We maintain the network, and we have to keep it alive. For you know, um, to get every to keep everyone connected. So that was that yeah. was kind of cool. I was just like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> let's go pep talk. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, so wow. that's kind of fun. Yeah. Yeah, and Stokel, one thing that um, I know I don't really like. I know Facebook has its huge limitations, but someone I was talking to in a different support group mentioned that for their kids, um, Facebook has like. And, and again, this is creepy, but it has its caveats, but if it can help a kid, then, you know, uh, it has like, I guess there's a messenger for kids where like you can talk to, it uses the parents' friends, and if your friends have kids or something like that, that the kids can then like video chat each other or something like that and hang out. Um, and so he said that that's been a really big uh, help hmm. for his kids. So um, uh, if well, you have friends with kids that they, you know. He's not... Um... He's older than I am. He's like 37. Oh, I must so, have misheard. Wait, is the person that you're talking about a kid or? Sorry, I didn't hear. No, it's someone no, no, he, he special, special needs. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. Oh. Yeah. I missed that. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's tough. Yeah, it, and, you know, that's a real challenge yeah. for you. Wow. Yeah. Is. He they, like the, one of the biggest issues with working with children is they are adults. A lot of like when when working with them, you have to always remember they're adults. They have rights to do different things, and they have rights to make their own choices and stuff like that. So it's really difficult to to explain why we should not be going outside or why we shouldn't be going to the store or just yeah. interacting with other people. Oh wow. Well. Okay, and so Netflix is uh, what I'm trying to say. Oh, he said I'm Netflix sorry. and yeah, said I think Netflix, Netflix yeah. and stuff like that for uh-huh. cool. All right, well, thanks for sharing, Stokel. Thank um, you. Tara, do you want to share or skip or yeah. what will you? 
Do I can't remember if you have a mic. Okay. Oh, oh cool. Okay. Uh, foot sweep. How have things been with you? Welcome, everybody. We're just talking about COVID nineteen and all that stuff, and how people are doing. So feel free to chime in as well if you have responses to people or anything like that. Is really rolling up. Okay, Let's so follow right you. now, um, for those not in the know, um, I work for LA County as a uh, public social services worker, so I help out a lot with like Medicaid and food stamps and stuff like that. Uh, so right now, the workload is still climbing up and up, but you know we're still still trying to you know churn through to so make sure everyone gets covered. Uh, actually, one of the things that's kind of tough for me right now is They've extended the lockout order till about mid-May, mm. and I'm wondering like how people are gonna be once once it gets lifted, or people are gonna go a little stir crazy. Um, yeah. then on top of that, I uh, I also take care of my two elderly parents at home, so I have to mm. go out and get groceries and hope I don't bring something home with me. If you know what I mean. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But um, what's been really helping me out lately is um, I've been kind of been on a uh, social media diet. I've been basically trying to. I mean, before I used to like monitor everything that happened that's that's going on, but now it's like, you know what? For my own sanity, I'm just gonna stick to just like regular orders. Keep keep myself from looking at Twitter and like other yeah. social media for like at, at a at a minimum and then just find other ways to keep myself uh, occupied. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. I try to do that as well. Less Reddit, less doom reading. <laughs> mm, yeah. Kind of well, I I was going to say something that you know, there are people who are on the front lines medically who are out there, but people like you, I think, are also like critically important to what's going on. Like, it's okay to, you know, for the government to uh, pass various programs that make it possible for people to get help. But you're really, in my opinion, where the rubber meets the road in terms of actually implementing things, actually helping people, talking to them. And I just want to say, I really take my hat off to you because I think it's, uh, you know, it's a tough job. Mind you, I'm just like a county worker, not even close to does, does, federal. So you know what? It doesn't matter because really and truly, you are in a position to that's you know you're trying to implement and you're trying to help people, and it's super important whether you work in the county or for the county or for the federal government. It's still a really important job, you know. Thank so, you. kudos to you. Some uh, Lala. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello there. Uh, I just came in for something completely different. I'll be <laughs> honest. <laughs> but okay. Uh, but I can put some stuff in, like you know. So yeah, basically yeah, me. Um, um. I am. Um, I work for the gaming industry, so I test games for a living. And that transition from working at home and working from work to home is actually pretty easy for me. Um, obviously, lots of security things we have to consider and stuff, but that for me was quite easy. Um, and being isolated for me personally isn't a big issue. In that it's been my my whole life gaming, go to work, gaming, go to work. So going out's not a big thing unless it's exercise. Um, so for me, it's not affected me much, but I see a lot of other people who are very outgoing getting affected a lot, a lot more than I can yeah. imagine. Like back, in, they remind me of back in the early days where I thought like, well, why does no one want to, why does no one want to hang out with me? Why does, why does no one want to invite me to a party? And now I see them in that struggle because they want to go out, and you know, and you know, and I don't know how to help them because. My struggles were so like, individual, you know, when everyone mm -hmm. was going out. Like, how can I tell them that you just, like, got to deal with the hard times? Because sometimes it is hard, you know, and sometimes you think bad thoughts. 
I don't feel like them anymore personally now, but some people in this room, in this virtual room, um, have obviously just said stuff like, you know, like it gets to them and all I can say really is you've just got to try and just get through it. Um, I'm lucky enough that I work with a very creative game, so like, I do a lot of artwork, do 3D modelling and stuff like that. And I just put all my negativity into something positive. It's the best thing I can mm. say to anyone. You know, if you love like football, for example, or rugby, or whatever, what soccer, and um, then just try and do that if you've got the space to do that. You know, I, I do a lot of that work, so obviously, you know, yeah. Cool. So, so for you personally, into your work. Okay. yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. No, I was going to say it. So it really has been an advantage for you, it sounds like, to be in I mean, the kind I'm of work not, where, yeah. I wouldn't say it was an advantage. It feels the same. Um, an advantage would be to go outside when I want to. <laughs> but um, mm-hmm. but just for the work side, um, obviously I, I work for Sony, so they did an amazing thing by basically doing a lot for the um, for staff. And I'm QA, so I'm like right at the bottom. I'm like the last person that should get anything. But they was like, look, everyone on the team, everyone in the whole building or in the whole world of Sony, I think, it's like, oh yeah, you're keeping your job. We're just going to move you out of home. It's been lots of security. Um, but it's been easy. I wouldn't say it's beneficial uh, um, in a sense that it's not, you know, I like to go out sometimes and do the shop, go, like get some shopping, food, like clothes shopping. That's one of my favorite things to do. Um, but yeah, so, so there are some downsides, but with you know, it's for me, it's okay. I just don't like seeing my friends and people that I know, and even random people now who clearly are struggling with something that I've struggled years ago. And I, it's so hard for me to just say, get on with it, when you know, it's so hard to say that to someone, you know, because it's you know, you don't say that, but you just got to take this, it's going to be hard for all of us, no matter what. And the best thing for all of us to do is to literally just do nothing. We're, we're literally making history right now. Everyone that doesn't do anything is doing so much more. Like, if, if I was infected, I could infect two people and I could potentially yeah. kill two people. And they could infect four more people than eight more, 16, 36. And that number just goes, we, we know the math with, with, with sin, the TV and how they describe it. And you know, we're yeah, yeah. actually making history. It's Wait. funny because you're saying you're you're saying doing nothing and being at home, you really are doing something, but it doesn't feel yes. like it at the time, you know. Yeah, it, it doesn't. I, um, was it was it? And um, who over there? I don't know how to say your full name, but so that you felt see? hopeless. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. and you're not. Trust me, you're not hopeless because everything that you're not doing by not going out is saving two people's lives at the start. And then potentially saving so many more. And there's people. Mm. I live in the UK, so if that's not apparent, so in the UK we knew about this thing a lot longer than anyone else. Pretty much, like we saw it in Spain, we saw it in France. And by the time it came to us, we were like, because we're British, you know, we just drink a cup of tea, it'll go by. But it's not. Just the other day, I think it was just a day, just under 1,000 people died in one day. And that number's mm. going higher and up. It's catching up to um, to Italy now, is it? And um, Obviously, I feel safe because I've not, not been going out, but there are people still going out now around the whole of like the world, really. It's just like you're taking a risk, and if they're willing to do that and they're obviously dying from that, then you know you can't feel bad for someone else's mistakes or someone else's decision. Not everyone's doing that, we know this, but I mean, if someone's going out and like what I've seen a picture of someone who licked a toilet bowl and then got ill with corona, well, you asked for it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you, you asked for it, but if you if you went out... Maybe a, a question is, why were they licking the toilet bowl? But anyway... Yeah, right? One fun thing okay. I've been doing um, for entertainment, um, so obviously, Thank you. like, sure. all of us are working from home, if we are still working, um, be, uh, mm-hmm. communicating via, um, you know, like a either Zoom is the popular one, or it's it's a, a Microsoft Teams. My job, we use Microsoft Teams. So what I've been doing every morning, I've been uh, getting in VR chat, um, turning on the stream camera, then turning on OBS and making my OBS turn my stream into a digital webcam, and then I pump that digital webcam through Microsoft mm-hmm. Teams. So every morning I'm like something different in uh, in our 
daily sync up meetings. <laughs> <laughs> and it slowly turned into to get my whoop, uh, get my coworkers um, interested in VR chat. And then we uh, last Friday we had our first meeting and um, everyone's all in VR chat. Fantastic. Oh, I was like, yeah. yes. Wow. <laughs> nice. That's yeah, incredible. we just meet in our in, in VR as well. It's really nice to. <laughs> yeah. It's so easy, you know. Yeah. Cool. Um, well, thanks. You, thanks you, for sharing. Yeah. Do you want to go? Did yeah, did, it, did everybody go? Uh, think... Well, you can go next, Pat... and then we can keep okay. the circle. I think spicy so, and red no, leaf. And people... also, for okay. new people coming in, we're just talking about coronavirus and how everybody's coping and all that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah. Well, not not too much more to say from what I said last time, which is that uh, I'm I'm doing an online course on songwriter songwriting i'm a songwriter and uh i've never taken a course on songwriting so that's been pretty awesome for me to have that distraction um i you know i'm not having to work from home but i'm really busy i i do something which uh, uh i call digitales instead of cocktails where i meet with friends and we all agree to meet at a certain time using zoom or you know, some video chat program, and we all sit there with our food and our wine or whatever we're doing and sort of socialize. And that's been, that, it's amazing. That really feels like I'm with these people. And I call it Digitales because it's digital cocktails. So, mm -hmm. um, so lots of things, you know, I'm here with my husband where, and that's, you know, I feel fortunate that we're, uh, you know that i'm here with him and we're together and get along very well and um i would say as far as the biggest challenge for me it's been uh re really thinking about my family worried about how they're going to get along and uh thinking about the world and the economy and trying to figure out you know the balance between wanting to s protect people but also not letting the economy completely tank i think that's a dis you know that's a balancing act and i don't know what the answer is but it's you know i'm worried about that um really worried about the economy uh so and of course people's health i mean that that's obvious too but anyway so that's that's sort of been my life. So for me personally, it's really been, it hasn't been difficult. I usually spend a lot of time at home anyway. Uh, just Lala, you were talking about that too. And I, I could spend days at home even when I don't need to and don't have to just because there are a lot of things that I do with my music and other things that keep me busy. So that part hasn't been as much of a challenge as sort of thinking about the bigger world and worrying about it. So, yeah that's a, yeah. yeah okay that's cool well it's good that <laughs> you're doing well funny. personally sorry what's Stoker? really funny is the way she was explaining um the way you were explaining uh having some wine and eating with friends is every friday night in vr chat <laughs> that's when yeah. we do it we do it on friday nights yeah there's like bar crawls is that in VR true chat. Mm -hmm. people so, do that in VR chat. Yeah. i didn't know about that's that right. Yeah. The it's, only uh, thing that's tricky about that is that when you're wearing a mask, when you're wearing your headset, it's hard to drink wine. People uh, figure it out, though. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm going well for to drink it in VR. Yes. So here's, here's one thing from the bottle. It's drinking in VR. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. um, uh, so the fixed focal point of VR uh, uh, makes you overestimate your sobriety. So just, like, watch out. Oh. <laughs> There's been many yeah, times I've been more. like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I have well, yeah. I mean, I, I haven't missed the meetings because I went too hard on Friday. No, that's not a thing ever. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, I've been I've been warned, duly warned about um, that. Yeah, and I guess for me, I've been doing pretty well as well. Uh, I think it's definitely getting to me to be like staying inside for so long because I definitely like to go out and interact like kind of like those people while i was talking about like i'm more outgoing and stuff so i luckily i guess now i'm living with my boyfriend so that's kind of been uh it accelerated our relationship in some ways but that you know we're still together so that's that's it's working well but i have a feeling that there's going to be lots of like there's going to be lots of like uh 
relationships that get a lot closer, relationships that break up, and lots of babies born um, as a result of the yeah. pandemic. So, oh, yeah. but uh, <laughs> yeah, the um, is gonna be just corona yeah, boom. it's gonna be like overwhelmed, overwhelmed. Oh, corona uh, boom. <laughs> yeah, that's what it's gonna be. Uh, <laughs> but um, the yeah, but it's been a little hard. I think one interesting thing is that I've I've been playing some video games to cope, like most people do. But I've been playing like Overwatch, which ha is competitive, and I think their algorithms like force you to lose half the matches, or like they want you to kind of not always win. And that's actually been kind of frustrating, I think. And so I'm letting like a game's algorithms lead to more frustration. So I'm also trying to like play other games that um you know are more calming and things like that and more just kind of fun or exploring or self-directed and the other thing is um yes. i recently started latch hooking again I like a little that. crap thing so that's been uh what's, really really helpful what's latch hooking it's basically like uh making a you have like this canvas of all these little it's kind of like taking um creating a picture by weaving each thread is like a, pi a pixel of the picture and so Ooh. you're just like going row by row like and it's brain? really satisfying. Or, like, a little bit. It's a little yeah, bit it's like kind of, <laughs> Yeah, it's like embroidering, except you don't have to have any, like, skill to sew or, like, knit. It's, like, not knitting because you don't have to... It's not that complicated. It's very easy to learn. You just put the string on the little tool and put it on the little place where the pixel goes. But it's, like, super soothing and you see it, like, progressing and it's, like... I I don't know, it's just really nice to, and because I don't like just sitting and watching TV for, for hours, but I can do this for hours and watch TV and feel like I'm like, you, you see this thing, this image being produced. I can post it in, I'll post the one I'm making in uh, the end game. Uh, if you guys go to endgamebr.com, we have our um, Discord and I'll, I'll post it there. Uh, but yeah, that's been super, super, super helpful. Like that's been transformative for me uh, to have something like that. So. Um, but yeah, anyone else, I guess, uh, Spice, you want to go Red Leaf and anyone else who wants to talk about their experiences, we try to keep the show to an hour, so we have about 15 more minutes, so, um, but yeah, Spicy, do you want to check in yeah, about what's been most challenging and what's been most helpful? So, I, things haven't really been that challenging lately, I think, like, every day that goes on while this is happening, you kind of become more accustomed to the craziness and stuff. Kind of like a soldier in war, it's not so traumatic after, like, just a certain amount of time has passed. Yeah. You. Um, but the thing that's really been helpful, honestly, is, like, for one, like, avoiding all the news, because, like, they, uh, it sucks because they uh, use fear to sell, like, their stories and, like, get advertising revenue and yeah. make you want to look at more and stuff like that. Like, my dad, every time he comes back from work, he sits at his computer, he turns on his homepage, which is Yahoo, and it's just constant, like, stories about why, how the president's not doing a good job. How there's mass shortages in you know Liberia, and how Indian cops aren't yeah. being able to open force quarantine. Like, there's so much stuff happening in the world, but if you just put that away for a while, like it really does wonders for your uh, mental health. I'd say. Yeah, that's really you know, I find interesting. That there's a lot point. of things that you can do that like give you some kind of control over the situation. So like mm -hmm. literally, actually, why I was late to this meetup was because I was like sanitizing some surfaces around my house with like a. Your bleach and like the wipe downs mm -hmm. and stuff like that and then something else i've been doing is like that i think everyone here should do is like if they get groceries lay them out like in their door area and then yeah. like spray it with like hydrogen yeah. peroxide or sanitizer before you like start putting it away because yeah you never we know. do that too yeah um and then i also so got some face masks in the mail yeah keeping clean like there's things that you can do like to protect yourself and like just yeah um doing that i find really makes a difference like cause and keeping you can't control what's happening outside of your house but you can kind of control what's happening yeah. inside of your house and i think just keeping things neat like i've been trying to organize stuff and keep it neat as well like that's a huge help uh but also lala if you could mute your mic i think there's some feedback just to let you know uh coming through a little bit um but uh but yeah red leaf do you or anything else spicy or the, those are the main things that mm, that was that was pretty much it just also another thing is like being in vr more and more like having a group of friends that you can meet up with like pretty regularly like look at all those guys over there they look like they hang out with each other pretty regularly just <laughs> really how can you tell group of friends those bad boys <laughs> down there it really makes a huge difference why. like you have something to look <laughs> like each virtual reality is like the greatest thing you could have in a mm. quarantine situation like this. it is true honestly. yeah yep all the headsets are sold out too right now so <laughs> wow that's that's, that's unfortunate that's that something. oculus's factory yeah, was in wuhan it was, it was it really? really yeah that's yeah, interesting in one of their main factories was oh in my wuhan, goodness so. yeah wow. that was i saw your headset <laughs> 
where you put it under. Well, that's no, that's why uh, the Oculus Quest has been like sold out and and is out of stock for like months and months on end. Because yeah, I ordered thirty of them when they came in stock like a month ago. (laughs) (laughs) For discharge. Okay, all right, roll. Thanks, Togo. Bye. Uh, Red Leaf. Hmm? Any thoughts on what's been hardest or most helpful for you? Or you're welcome to pass if you don't want. But yeah, whatever. Mm. COVID. I mean, I suppose I can talk some things. Like it's, I'm from Brazil, right? Things are getting a little bit wild around here. Uh, like less, uh, for the last count, as far as I remember, we have like over a thousand deaths already, and uh, things are only getting worse. And people are just ignoring all the situation. They're just still going mm. out, agglomerating into many, many places. There are some stores, for example, are doing some things like, oh, okay, we are only going to allow like one or or two people inside the store at all times. But then people outside still make lines super close to one another. So Mm -hmm. it's like Uh a problem in and of itself. But I suppose that like as far as things are going around here, it's definitely not good. Definitely not good. Mm. And people are only going to actually start taking care of themselves when uh, things get a little bit too wild but as far mm. as I go I suppose not, nothing but has changed after some incidents a few years ago I have basically just stayed at home most of the time just going out to work and coming back to the computer playing some games having some fun but recently even with the corona situation thankfully it didn't hit really hard around where I live so funny enough some old chaps that i hanged out with invited me to a really really fucking fun a tournament fighting tournament street fighting tournament that happened here it was so fucking long since i've last been in one of those it's it was genuinely really fun and were you in it or did you go to it oh yeah i participated lost the second fight though (laughs) Is this virtual the champion or real? Of no, I'm pretty sure it's real. Oh, no, real life, yeah. Oh my god. They, okay. they do things differently in Brazil. The <laughs> old champion of 2014 oh is no more. Oh well. Still, <laughs> it was genuinely really fun. People Wait, like, were, people he was were killed just in like... the fight? or? No, calm down, boy. <laughs> that's, that's, <laughs> not how street, that's not how street fighting works. In the video <laughs> games, it, that's how it works. <laughs> uh, it depends, but I digress. The thing is, it was genuinely fun. People were aware of the situation with Corona. We just like made sure that like people that were coughing, ju- even if just a little bit, but they were just immediately just mm. <laughs> thrown out. And it, it it was just a fun. It was just a fun thing to do. You know, it was genuinely a fun thing. I was obviously like in a massive disadvantage because I gained way too much weight since uh, I, I became basically like a shut in. And it's it, it was just it was just interesting to say that the very least it was interesting. I was one of, I was one of the only old faces that actually appeared there. The only other one that I knew was the man in who basically make, makes everything. It's still the same dude. <laughs> it, mm. It's fun, man. It's it's genuinely fun that even in times of crisis, some people just, like, still have the same wild ambitions in life, even if it means that they are risking themselves into the situation. It's like cool. someone someone here, I've, I've heard that someone here is from the UK, and things uh, I have seen. Uh, news and things that are happening in UK is getting a little bit wild and I'm feeling afraid for you guys in regards to what the police is doing in the enforcing the law in very undemocratic ways, should I say? I don't know. What I find yeah, is well, India's that... implementation, they just beat you with sticks. <laughs> oh, that's no, yeah. no, 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 that's, ju- that's just <laughs> normal to be honest. They are just enforcing some old, old stuff. But well, like, yeah. I really think that the biggest problem of people going out is not exactly people going out in and of itself, it's more like people agglomerating mm. into places. If you have like, a certain distance from one another, yeah. if you... Yeah. This is in no, not a problem. It's like the, sunba- the, the sunbathing situation that happened in UK that I've seen. I've seen the pictures of people sunbathing in those like, big fields, but they were far, far apart from one another. And you, you see, yeah. see the police just screaming at them to go back to their homes and stuff like that. I really think that 
if you can stay at, at your house and not leave, yeah, do it. It's uh, do it. It's it's not. It's it, you're not gonna die because you couldn't like take your your dog out for a walk for a day or two. If you, you know, want, really? if you if you really if you really feel like okay, I want I really want to go out, take take a little Sunday, like having some fun with the dog. Okay, go go right ahead. You do understand the risks. Go right yeah. ahead. The thing, so it the thing like... is, try to maintain the this, the the social distance. Yeah, that's you know? the key. That's yeah, the so key. it sounds like that's been helpful for you, and then going, uh, yeah, doing some events in person and things like that, and trying to be more careful. So. Cool. Um, trying to socialize people in the moment where everyone trying to not socialize with one another it's is a little bit wild for me. It's definitely interesting. Genuine yeah. Well, fun. thanks for sharing. That's for sure. Yeah. Thanks for sharing. And uh, hey, dude, yeah. no problem. The thing is, I really think that there's a lot of people who are getting just like way too sad, way too depressed with all the situation, and I really think that they really don't need more and more sadness and depression around them. So I try to be a little bit more. Of a shining star, if you will. I don't. I like to talk in a more fun and interesting way. I try my best. I mean, yeah. who, knows, who knows what can happen? So sometimes, just a little talk with someone that feels a little bit happy is more than enough to make yourself happy. You know? Yeah. Uh, cool. Well, thanks yeah, for and sharing. This new Udon update has been keeping me busy trying to figure out how to program Udon and stuff. It's really yeah. interesting. You do a lot. Um, yeah, a lot of Apparently VR. I'm a code for a world that looks for when I log in, so I can have this glorious fanfare. Like, bum, ba, da, bum, ba, bum, bum. Only when I log in, though. <laughs> exactly. Wow. Well, yeah. interesting. Oh, ah, well, you know, it's each your own and creating your own things. And do you, does anyone else, uh, I know we're getting, we've gotten close to an hour. So does anyone else want to share, like, Midnight or PC or CatPad? Do you guys what have any, you, do you want to share about what, what oh, it's been no, like for I'm you good. or anything that's been helpful? Uh, I, I don't have anything to add outside of what's been said so far, I'm afraid. Okay, that's okay. Um, PC or cat pad, do you guys have anything or...? Uh, yeah. I... I have been spending, uh, same life... same life with now for 20 years. I'm disabled, uh, after some incident in my life, so... I was planning to go outside, but this happened. And uh, people in Tokyo doesn't care about social distance. So mm. I'm scared and jumping, jumping from people. I can't go out now. I'm so scared. So mm. I was planning to build my life. I don't know. Uh, economically, I... I I worry less because I live on welfare. I live on welfare, welfare because uh, this is embarrassing. Uh, but I, I think I miss a chance about go out and build my mental. Mm. Yeah. So you're Be saying that careful. you wanted you wanted to go outside before, and you were kind of trying to do that soon but then this happened and now you're kind of trying to stay inside and people in it sounds like people in tokyo are not um taking it seriously or they're not they're not acting in a way that makes it safe uh not at all uh, i have been visiting, helping people nursing people coming my uh coming my house coming my apartment mm. and they don't oh. care at all they don't wash hands <laughs> after wow. uh, blowing notes. That's no good. So I, um, so I, I ask the gym, I took a break for who are five. So I'm um, really, sh really shut in totally alone. Ah, oh, I see. Well, what's been and what's been most helpful for you? Yes, uh, many people are sharing how to be productive in inside, so it's helpful okay. for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a That's huge uh, creative uh, Japanese community here on VRChat. I don't know if you're. Um, <laughs> really? 
Yeah, yeah, the they uh, they put on proof enough. Yeah, they they put on uh, VCAT, the virtual market. I'm sure if you can get involved in that, they'll they'll comics. help you teach the tools. Yeah, they, they have the comics yeah. uh, thing going on right now. Um, but yeah, Do anything you know? um, the Japanese creative team oh. does, um, it's always just like <laughs> mind blowing. <laughs> yeah, Cap, they have a good know? community. Do you have you yeah, it's uh, not met anyone? The Japanese people really are very creative with their creations. Have you met Capad? Have you met anyone in VR chat from Japan as well? No, no, no. This is first day in the VR oh, chat. Great. Wow. wow. Oh, okay. 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 I have been good. So, I, think... <laughs> I couldn't reach this room for 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah. I have well, you know what we should do? I think. Um, so I think we're wrapping up now. Um, <clears throat> so I think what we can do is we can, uh, after we do our goodbye picture, let's put down a portal to the uh, Japanese comic because I wanted to see that anyway. So we can just. Oh all yeah, go. it's really pretty. It's really well on. It's, it's a master and be some, as always. Yeah, and hopefully there'll be some people who speak Japanese there as well, so that you can meet them and um, uh, you know start. And and also these guys, uh, Catpad, if you go to our. Um, endgamevr.com the name of the show uh and join our discord on the discord app um i'm sure if you post uh people here know the japanese community or know people in the community so you can meet them and there's is a huge community here of thousands of people in from japan i think so um yeah hopefully you can do that but but thank you for sharing and i think that about does it for this group guys um i think that uh yeah, this Thank was really you. cool, and we're gonna try to do a normal end game as well on a Wednesday uh, soon. So have like a normally end game we talk about like psychology or technology and talk about the future. Um, and this has been more of a support group that we've been running, but we also want to get back to having guests and intellectual discussion as well. Uh, in addition to this, so um, but yeah, thank you everybody for coming, and uh, yeah. Yeah, I think we're. I feel. I feel a lot better after this. So I hope other people yeah. do. Yeah. No, it's Italy's. very helpful. Yeah. Um. Cool. Well, let's let's take a group picture to wrap things up. So everyone, come on, come up on the stage, and then we'll head to the comic Comic Con. Was it called V? V Cat. Comic V Cat. Comic V Cat. <laughs> awesome. All right. Oh wait, you can jump. Trolling on up here. Dun 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 dun. Do do. Correct me. <laughs> I like doing that. <laughs> He's always yeah, like, I, I like this guy. I want yeah, that avatar. COVID 19. All right, COVID-19. <laughs> COVID-19. COVID-19. Coronavirus. Yeah, we go. Go. Got fever, fever. Fever, fever. So it is. So time to disappoint me, Neko. Yay. <laughs> Yay. Well, awesome. All right, so I'll get the I'll get the portal up and. All right, let's go to the Comic Con and in Catpad, you'll meet. Uh, Hopefully there'll be people who speak Japanese as well. So. Does she know how to go? Yeah, I was already here. <laughs> Where you were. How to go. I'm... Wait, where is it?